winter. This is how it's been presenting itself at my home in Germany. Rain. Clouds and fog. And even more depressing rain. Here, there is not much to do when watching fly fishing movies and tying flies for the upcoming season. I really regret not visiting Jan in Sweden last Christmas, since there you can actually go outside and sometimes even fish. I can't even count how many times my memories have taken me back to last year's fishing trips with both my brothers, Lukas and Jan. But wait, I don't have to rely solely on my memories to take me back. For me, it's not only that fact that we're going fly fishing every year, but I look forward to that weeks in the summer where we all get together and spend time together, which is pretty hard for us because Jan is living in North Sweden and we don't see each other all the year like we did in the past. Each year when Jan picks us up from the airport, um, Lucas and I are usually very eager to go fishing right away. So um, when we get to his place, we pack our stuff and go to a little forest river right behind his house. In Germany, we just don't have places like that anymore. So we make sure we don't take them for granted. The power and the bone 
Quiet and fearsome people talk A wisdom abusing The evil took place behind your back No sense for the beauty Nobody knew he has been there so long before Search your walls and you run in the meadow to find the king and his crown. All the years pass by and the tracks in the morass are long gone, no sign of their brown. I came to Sweden actually from Germany in 2002 at the first time to work as a dog handler just exploring the great north and the great outdoors. I wanted to change something in my life. It was never really planned to like move to Sweden and settle down here but I took a job as a dog handler in the dog sledding business and um, well pretty much ended up like that. Well, I never fly fished before Jan moved to Sweden. And I visited him in his first year when I was 15 or 16. And I uh, first uh, took a fly rod, he convinced me. And uh, we always had a fly rod in addition to our spinning rods. And try to use them as much as we can, but mostly we were too lazy to use them because our casting skills weren't that good and we didn't catch that much. I didn't really become a committed fly fisher until uh, I went fishing with Jan. I took a fly rod and I caught a decent sized grayling. I called Jan, I was catching some decent grayling and he was shouting out, oh, on the fly? And I was like, yeah, on the fly. And by the time Jan reached the spot where I was fishing, I had already caught, I think, four or five. And after 20 minutes, we had like 10 grayling and we stopped fishing. And that was the event when I thought, okay, maybe I should use a fly rod more often. time with Jonas in Germany, fly fishing and doing other stuff through the winter, but these few weeks in the summer are always amazing. <laughs> <laughs> 